Seven segment displays are widely used in digital clocks, electronic meters, temperature display units and other electronic devices that display numerical information. This is called a seven segment because it consists of seven LEDs arranged in a rectangular style. Individual segments of a seven segment display labeled with English letters A, B, C, D, E, F and G. By turning on and off each LED or segment, we can make different numbers from 0 to 9 and some English letters. We have two types of 7 segment displays common anode and common cathode. In common anode 7 segment display, the anode side of all the LEDs are connected together and is connected to the desired voltage. Then each LED or segment can be turned on by applying logic zero or low signal through a current and limiting resistor to the cathode side of particular LED or segment. In common cathode 7 segment display, the cathode side of all the LEDs are connected together to logic zero or ground. Then each LED or segment can be turned on by applying logic 1 or high signal through a current limiting resistor to the anode of particular LED or segment. Depending upon the decimal digit to be displayed, the particular set of LEDs is power biased. For instance, to display the numerical digit 0, we will need to light up 6 of the LED segments corresponding to A, B, C, D, E and F. Thus, the various digits from 0 through 9 can be displayed using a 7 segment display. In a 7 segment display, we have total of 10 pins, 5 pins on one side and 5 pins on the other side. The middle pins are internally connected and can be connected with 5 volt or ground depending on the type of the 7 segment. If it's a common anode type, then this pin will be connected with 5 volts or else it will be connected with the ground if this is a common cathode type 7 segment. This pin is A, this pin is B, this pin is C, this pin is D, this pin is E, this pin is F, this pin is G and this pin is for the decimal point which is the 8th LED. Only by looking at the 7 segment display, it's hard to tell whether this is a common anode or common cathode type. Before we can apply the voltage, let's first calculate the value of resistor. Typically, for a standard red colored 7 segment display, each LED segment can draw about 15 milliamps to illuminate correctly. So, on a 5 volt digital logic circuit, the value of the current limiting resistor would be about 200 ohms. 5 volt minus 2 volt divided by 15 milliamps which is equal to 200 ohms or 220 ohms to the nearest higher preferred value but currently I have 330 ohm resistor available so I will use this one. First let's check this for the common anode type 7 segment display. Connect 5 volt from the Arduino with a common pin of the 7 segment. Now connect a 330 ohm resistor with a wire, connect one side of this with the Arduino ground and connect the other side of the wire with any pin of the 7 segment. As you can see the LED or segment can turn on so it means this 7 segment is a common anode type. So far we have covered all the basics now it's time to use this 7 segment with Arduino you know. But before the practical connections let's first make a Proteus simulation and check our programming. While Proteus is open, click on the Pick from Libraries button and search for Arduino. Double click to aid. Now click the mouse left button to aid Arduino and then select the Arduino. Right click and rotate. Again click on the Pick from Libraries button and search for Common Anode Type 7 segment. Look for the Common Anode Type 7 segment and double click or click OK to add it to the list. Again click on the pick from libraries button, write resistor, select the resistor and click OK to add it to the list. Now add 7 resistors and change the values from 10k to 330 ohm. Now connect these resistors with pin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Connect 5 volt with a common of 7 segment display. 
connect pin 8 of the Arduino to pin A of the 7 segment, similarly connect pin 7 of the Arduino to pin B of the 7 segment and so on. After the connections are completed, now it's time to start the Arduino programming. This is the program written for the common node 7 segment display. Integer pin A equals to 8. It means pin 8 of the Arduino is connected with pin A of the 7 segment. The remaining 6 pins are defined in the same way. Integer pin B is equal to 7. Integer pin C is equal to 6. Integer pin D is equal to 5. Integer pin E is equal to 4. Integer pin F equals to 3. Integer pin G is equal to 2. Every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are wide setup and wide loop. The wide setup function executes only one time when the Mega or Arduino board is turned on. As LED is an output device, so that's why we set all the LEDs as output. For this, we will be using the pen mode function. While loop function executes infinite times. For zero, we can make a zero if we set pin G of the seventh segment at logic high and rest of the pins at logic zero. So as you can see, all the pins are set at logic zero except pin G of the seventh segment. Then there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second. For one, we apply logic 0 to pin B and pin C of the 7th segment display and logic 1 to all the other pins of the 7th segment. For two, we apply logic 0 to pin A, pin B, pin D, pin E and pin G while we apply logic 1 or high to the remaining pins. This way we can display the other numbers. To generate the hex file, first of all click on the file and select preferences and check the compilation and upload boxes and then click OK. Now click on the compile button to check for errors and generate the hex file. This program has no errors. Now copy the hex file link by selecting the link and press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy the link. Now open Proteus and double click on the Arduino and paste this link in the program file text box and click OK. And press play button to start the simulation. I hope you liked today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.